In this video, we'll talk about early signs of liver damage. It's important to know these signs so you can act early and help stop the damage from getting worse. The liver can heal itself if cared for properly. According to the American Liver Foundation, 25% of adults in the USA have liver disease, more than many people think. Liver damage isn't only caused by drinking too much alcohol. Other things like eating processed food, too much sugar and vegetable oils, taking too many painkillers, and viruses can also harm your liver. If you're worried about your liver, watch this video to the end. We'll also talk about natural home remedies to clean your liver and prevent more damage. 1. Pale stool. If your stool is pale, it might mean your liver is damaged. Normally, the liver makes bile, which helps digest food and gives stool its brown color. If the liver is not working well, it might not make enough bile, leading to pale or clay-colored stool. This could also make your stool float on the water's surface. If you see this change, you should talk to a doctor. 2. Poor night vision. Having trouble seeing in the dark might also suggest liver issues. This problem, known as poor night vision, happens when the liver can't filter toxins or make enough proteins, like the retinol-binding protein. This protein carries vitamin A to the retina, which is crucial for seeing in low light. A damaged liver might lead to a lack of vitamin A, affecting your night vision. If you notice this, it's important to see a doctor. 3. Swollen right foot. Swelling in the legs and feet can be a sign of liver damage, too. This is called peripheral edema. If the liver is damaged, it might not make enough albumin, a protein that keeps fluids balanced in the body. This can cause fluid to build up in your legs, often swelling more on the right side because of how blood flows in the body. If you notice this swelling, consult a doctor. 4. White or yellow bumps around the eyelids. If you notice white or yellowish bumps around your eyelids, this could be a sign of liver issues. These bumps, called xanthelasma, are cholesterol deposits. When the liver can't break down cholesterol properly, it may start to accumulate in parts of the body like the eyelids. This could indicate liver disease, so it's important to get your liver checked if you see these bumps. 5. Right-sided pressure. Feeling pressure or discomfort on the right side of your rib cage, especially after eating, may point to liver damage. Damaged liver can cause bile to become thick and block the ducts to your gallbladder, leading to pressure against your ribs and potentially affecting your right shoulder through the phrenic nerve. Recognizing these signs early can help you seek treatment sooner. 6. Purple or red bumps on skin. A liver that can't produce enough proteins needed for blood clotting like fibrinogen might cause you to bruise easily. This can lead to purple or red bumps, often looking like a rash, mainly on the lower legs and arms. This is a sign of liver damage and could also be linked to poor blood circulation. If you notice these symptoms, it's important to consult a doctor. 7. Cracked heels. Cracked heels might be a sign of liver damage. Your body uses vitamin B3, also known as niacin, to keep your skin moisturized and strong. If your liver is damaged, it may use up the stored vitamin B3 to try to repair itself, leading to a deficiency. This deficiency can cause your heels to crack. Don't ignore this symptom as it could indicate liver issues. 8. White or swollen nails. White or swollen nails can suggest serious liver damage or another health problem that affects how much oxygen gets to your nails. Research from the 1950s showed that most people with severe liver scarring had completely white nails. Clubbed nails, which are round and enlarged at the fingertips, might also be a sign of ongoing low oxygen levels often linked to liver diseases like cirrhosis. 9. Dark urine. Dark yellow or brown urine can be a symptom of liver damage. The liver filters waste products from your blood, including bilirubin, a yellow pigment that colors the urine. If your liver is damaged, it might not filter bilirubin well, causing it to build up in your body and darken your urine. This could be a sign of liver conditions such as hepatitis, cirrhosis, or liver cancer. 10. Spider veins. Spider veins, or telangiectasias, are tiny, visible blood vessels that look like a web of red, blue, or purple lines on the skin. They are usually found on the face, legs, and feet. Elevated estrogen levels due to liver damage can increase pressure in veins, making spider veins more apparent. This can also point to serious liver conditions like cirrhosis or hepatitis. 11. Itchy skin. Itchy skin is a common sign of liver damage. It occurs when bile acids accumulate under the skin because the liver fails to filter them out. This leads to a buildup of histamines in the blood, which causes itching. Dry, flaky skin can also make the itching worse. If you're experiencing itchy skin along with other symptoms mentioned, it's a good idea to see a doctor for a liver check, possibly including an ultrasound to assess for damage. How can we reverse liver damage? 
Liver damage progresses through four stages. Initially, excess fat accumulates in liver cells, causing inflammation and the development of scar tissue, known as fibrosis. If not addressed, this can progress to cirrhosis, the most severe stage leading to liver failure. Fortunately, the liver can heal and regenerate with the right diet and remedies. Let's explore the most effective steps to repair your liver. First, start by drinking organic coffee in the morning, but instead of sugar, mix in half a teaspoon of turmeric. The special nutrients in turmeric and the helpful substances in coffee can lessen scarring and fix damage from drugs, alcohol, and sugar. Also, drinking at least one liter of water every day helps thin your blood and supports your liver in making bile to break down fat. It's good to add lots of liver-cleaning herbs and spices to your meals like ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, dandelion root, milk thistle, reishi mushrooms, green tea, and cloves. Second, to boost your liver's health, it's crucial to cut out inflammatory seed oils from what you eat. This includes oils from corn, cottonseed, canola, rapeseed, soy, as well as margarine and low-quality processed olive oil. These oils can lead to liver inflammation and damage. Instead, use anti-inflammatory fats like butter, tallow, extra virgin olive oil, and coconut oil when you cook. These healthier options not only make your food taste better, but also help protect your liver. Third, add sulfur-rich foods to your meals, such as leafy greens, arugula, radishes, garlic, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, mushrooms, pasteurized eggs, oily fish, walnuts, onions, scallions, and broccoli sprouts. These foods boost glutathione levels, which helps detoxify your liver and get rid of fat. The sulfur in these foods aids in breaking down toxins, improving your liver's overall health and function. Eating these nutrient-packed foods regularly can help fight fatty liver disease and improve your body's natural detox processes. Fourth, to reverse liver damage, avoid processed and sugary foods. Cut down on sugary, starchy, and flour-based items like bread, cookies, sweets, ketchup, pancakes, pasta, and sodas. A fatty or damaged liver reacts to fructose, the sugar in fruits, just like it does to alcohol. So it's vital to stop drinking fruit juices and alcohol completely. Fifth, to reduce inflammation and clean out fatty deposits in the liver, consider taking purified bile supplements, such as TKA purified bile salts or digestive enzymes that contain ox bile. These supplements work best when taken in the morning on an empty stomach. They can help remove fat from the liver and prevent the formation of gallstones. Always talk to a healthcare professional to find out which supplements are best for your specific liver health needs. Sixth, intermittent fasting is a great way to give your liver a break and keep it healthy. It helps lower liver fat, boosts insulin sensitivity, and reduces inflammation. Plus, it triggers a cleansing process that removes harmful substances from your liver. If you found this video helpful, then remember to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more informative health-related videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.